And we are go with Zach versus Brazenby, Ganondorf versus Pally Tana. Um, so, as far as Brazenby is concerned, he just wants to zone uh, Zach out as much as possible here. Ganondorf is slow and he hits hard, but he's got to be in close to get the hits. While he does have the fast, uh, aggressive approaches of uh, down B and side B, if used too much, they become very predictable. So in reality, you're going to be looking for all the up smash. Just so it's transforming as well, that was very dangerous. So, as a player, I don't know which way this will go. Zack is starting to play a distinct lead right here. There's a distinct lack of capitalization from Razor Lee on when Ganondorf's in the air. Because Ganondorf in the air is very lacking in ways to come down safely. It has nothing like Cloud Dare or Pikachu Quick Attack where you can just be like, okay, I'm coming down now, there's nothing you can do about it. But the up air that close to the blast zone is gonna kill. There's no two ways about it. It's nice to see that zoning game coming out there with the pivot F tool. Is this too big? Is that one series? Okay. Back to the game. Again, this is very much a footsie's game. This matchup isn't one all about speed. You don't seem to have like uh Pikachu who's just got to be aggressive. Both are naturally slow characters. And loves all about the footsies. He's gotta fade out the options. He's so slow he can't really be the aggressor. And Palutena can just take advantage of her disjoint. And be like, I know you want to come in, but I'm ahead, you have to approach me right now. And I can just keep you away, but the Sparta kick. 168%. So I hold 61% of extra credit here from Razor Moon. Again, Razor Moon's just letting Zach land safely. But we seem to have some aerial strings going here. If you don't like Gandalf land, he's not in a good position. All the most he struggles coming down. Oh, I'd be just covering him. I don't know if Pali Senna has any kill from Thunder at this turn, but the L Smash does kill. There is the Hallelujah of down push up there. But I'm not confident on the percent that works out. Oh! Oh, that's... Didn't see that drop at only 36%. It looked like we were getting something very nice stuff from Frozen V. I think that after the closeness of the first stock, Frozen V's just started to adapt to that. That likeness of Ganondorf. He's realising where he can and can't punish. Because of this, Razor is just able to control the pace of the game. Very nice into a fight recovery from that. Ooh, the up air. Okay, so, even at 71% down, uh, that has to be the aggressor here. Alexander has no real reason to approach it. That's why we're seeing a very defensive game from Brazen Boot. That's why this game's currently sat at just over 4 minutes. Because neither of them really wants to approach and has the tools to approach. That's the problem with playing low tiers, but the SD from Zach. It's unfortunate to see. Game 1 to Brazen Boot. Ban of FD is pretty standard against Zach, as he is, I believe, a for glory player. 
or at the very least very used to the uh, Omega flat stages. So Brisby bring out his... his 2 to what? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna have to update bracket a sec. Uh, yeah, I got it. You are in losers bracket. I may as well be dead. Um, on the board we can have Pakoyama versus Robbie. How many like this game do you want to do? I'll start losers after this. Just do it after, yeah. There's anything wrong with that? I don't want people getting crap. Yeah, I mean, gay guys are lovely people. Speaking from my time at the gay club last night. Gay night. I went to the gay bar. Gay bar. I went to the gay bar. Oh, the yeah. Nice. I'm surprised Mewtwo lived that long against Gandalf, to be honest. Mewtwo is the joint second licensed character in the game. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. So seeing a Mewtwo live to even 100% against yeah. Ganondorf, who hits very hard. Quite a rare thing. Fantasy. Mewtwo, this is Smash Mewtwo. Wow. Oh, wow. It's that a lot. Mewtwo is easy to kill and easy to be killed. That's the yeah. thing about Mewtwo. At least I'm aware of that. And this game is staying a lot closer so far than the last game did. Whether this is from the current yeah, switch, yeah. maybe two uh, minutes right. Oh, stock each. In terms of stocks, yeah. Way up for um, by this point in the last game, Resume had pulled out a decisive lead, and it seems to be going the other way now, with Zach pulling out a very strong lead. Oh, I wasn't actually paying attention to all the play. I knew Zach was playing, because he's playing Gandalf. They're no really. So, now a strong attack from Gandalf would kill you, sir. Like that forwarder! Although there was bad DI, but if you're not expecting it to kill, you naturally just do combo DI, which can send you to your death sometimes. Is there still Smash DI in Smash 4? Uh, yes, but only really on multi hit moves. Oh. Things like Smash DI and uh, Crouch Cancelling are just weak in Smash 4. The brain these music doesn't yeah. seem to be working out for him right. as well as his Palutena did last game. As Zach's now over a full stock up, and that might be getting. But we've got DI up in here. But with Mewtwo, he can just abuse that long double jump and very good recovery to just hit Ganondorf with a bear. Massively disjointed bear on stage, and suddenly you can be taking stocks at 0%. I concur. But all it takes is that one hit from Ganondorf here, of pretty much anything in his kit, with how like Mewtwo is. That's bear. Would be nice. Comes out quick. Doesn't last very long. Would kill. And the Wiz Kick kills. And that is one all. Um, they just told me they've, got, they've gentlemen to uh, Project M. They've, they've gentlemen to Project M. Mm -hmm. um, that's not possible as we don't have a Project M set up. So. Yeah. Can't stream from it at the same time. Even if you want gentlemen to Project M, I would just shut it down as TO. Oh, Brazenby going with the third character of the match, pulling out the Ryu. It's all about corrupting the download. How can you adapt to something you haven't seen before? Um, yeah. That is how you win. Uh, Omega Palutena's, please, instead of FD. Because FD doesn't like streams because of all the effects. We don't like, well, like FD because it's um, bad content. Yeah, it's bad. FD is bad. Wait, does it have the same collision data as Palutena's? Yeah, no. Under the stage, it's almost identical to Pally's. Um, Pally's is one of like two or three Omegas which have different blast zones, but realistically it doesn't make any difference and the similarities under the stage 
uh, enough that it counts for Very jealous of Brayden being able to put these inputs consistently. Yeah, I just have never wanted to pick up for you just because of the whole speed fighter But right now, he seems to be focusing too much on getting like the focus attack things going. And he hasn't actually gotten a hit in yet. And that is a perfect stop. stop. Yeah. It's a perfect stop from Zach now. Well, Resume. <laughs> Resume might be getting something started now. Because the thing about switching characters, yes, it corrupts the download. But say you're playing a character you haven't warmed up with, and you might start playing it like the last character you played. So he might be trying to play Ryu like Yuzu. Because that was, this Ryu isn't warm. He's not playing Ryu, playing Goku. He's purposely chosen that skin. Focus attack. If it whiffs, it's very likely to put the dare into forward smash, taking the stop. Uh, and we're gonna have to see the reverse three. Oh, that's considerate. Right? The, yeah, it's fine. It's the, the calling it early from Brazenby. 